support on this channel for what you have done on this channel to make this channel stand. I appreciate you all. On today's tutorial, we are going to be cutting a full circle sleeve like what I'm wearing. So I'm going to teach you two ways of cutting this sleeve, and we are going to be cutting long sleeve and short sleeve as well. If I have to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell down there to get you an update as I will be uploading my new videos. Without further ado, guys, let's hit that working table as we begin to cut. All right, guys, these are the material I'm going to use my paper, my ruler, and my marker. So I folded it into two this way, and I want to fold it into four. So this is into four, guys. So I folded my material into four. What we are going to do next is to determine the length of the sleeve you want to choose. So I have 14 inches here on the table. So I'm going to use 12 inches for the length of the sleeve for today's tutorial. So I'm going to mark 12 inches round and I'm placing my tape measure on, at that edge. And I will mark this 12 inches round. Having done this, I'm connecting the dots. So I've connected it. So I want to add seam allowance to the sleeve. 0 0.5 is good for seam allowance. So I'll mark this seam allowance from this edge to the other side, which is 0 0.5. So I'm marking it. I'm marking 0 0.5. And I will connect it together. I'm connecting this 0 0.5 together. So I'm cutting on this allowance line and not on my mean measurement. I'm cutting it. So this is what I have. So, you know, I told you, I'm going to teach you two methods of cutting this sleeve. So, this is first one here I want to teach you. So, today we are working with 16 inches for the round of our half O. So, divided into two is going to give us 8 inches. So, on this midpoint, I'm going to take 8 inches downward. So, from this midpoint, I'm marking this midpoint. I will mark it first. And I'm going to notch the remaining points. So I'm, mark, I'm notching it. So can you see the midpoint? So this is the midpoint. So what I'm going to do is to just place your tape measure and measure the half of your round arm, whatever you are getting for your horn, divide it into two and measure it. So I have eight inches for the half of my round ammo, and I'm going to measure it this way. So this is what I want to do right here. I've marked it eight inches from the midpoint. So this is the midpoint. So I, I place my tape measure and I measure 8 inches. Don't go beyond the line. Make sure you do not uh, bypass that uh, point I made. So I'm going to connect from the midpoint to the 8 inches downward. So I'm making these dots to reach this 8 inches. So I'm good to mark it. So I'm connecting it. 
okay so i've connected it and i'll place my tape measure to confirm maybe we have eight inches as you can see this is eight inches so we have eight inches at this side and at the other side we are at having eight inches so eight inches in two places gives us 16 inches that shows we have our full round hammer like i said earlier that i'm going to teach you two ways of cutting this or sleeve so you are going to mark a, um, a line sorry you are going to draw a line from the notching part to the other side so this is what i'm going to do i'm marking it into the other side and i'm and i'll change my ruler from the notching part here and to the lower part so now that i've connected the lines so this line is going to guide me it's very very important to draw this line because it will really help you if you want to make your own make sure you draw this line so the second method i want to teach you is to we as we have 16 inches for the round of our hammer so we are dividing this 16 inches by 6.2 Hit. so i did mine and i got 2.5 so what i'm going to do is to just mark this 2.5 from the midpoint this point make sure you place your tape measure on this point and don't go beyond the line so mark this 2.5 so this 2.5 so whatever you are getting in your own case my round of my the round of my hammer is 16 inches divided by 2 is given is giving me 8 inches so 16 inches divided by 6.28 gives me 2.5 and i've marked it so whatever you are getting in your own case maybe you are getting 18 inches for the round of your hammer so divide it by 6.28 and mark whatever you are getting round the circle so this is what i'm doing so i've marked the first uh, 2.5 so i'm placing my tape measure on that first 2.5 and i'm going to mark the remaining 2.5 round the circle so i'm still marking it so i'm placing the tape measure on that point i made you know i measured 2.5 downward before another 2.5 that goes around the circle so this is what i'm doing here 2.5 so you are marking whatever you are getting in your own case so in my own case i got 2.5 and i marked it around the line i drew so i'm connecting this 2.5 and I'm connecting it to the other side. So make sure you connect very well. So this is what I have. So I'm placing my tape measure to check. Maybe I have 16 inches. So this is 8 inches. Can you see? This is 8 inches. So that shows... I have 16 inches. So I'm measuring it. This is my 16 inches. Can you see? So this is 16 inches. If you follow this procedure, I'm telling you, you will like it. So you can cut it the that one or this one you can decide on your own so you know we have two methods now so you can cut this second one and the or oh, over shape so you are still getting the same answer 
So if you want to hard pleating, maybe you want to use this or uh, to the sleeve or and you can actually use it or uh, for your peplum. So if you want to hard pleating, you know we cut exact or uh, 16 inches here. Eh? So you will had 0 0.5 like my I'm getting 2.5. So you can add 2.5 to it. So I'm cutting it. I'm still cutting. I'm still cutting gently and carefully. So this is what I have. So I told you you must draw this line that is very, very compulsory for you to draw this line. So I told you not to take any measurements from the other side. So if you place your tape measure beyond that line, that shows you are deducting from the other side. So you know it must be equal. The one that is coming from the other side must be equal with the lower one. So that's why I said you should not deduct any um measurements any inches don't mark any inches from the other side so if you follow this procedure you follow this method this is how it's going to look like you know it's equal can you see so the two notching parts can you see so it's equal so this is how it's going to look like. So this is how it's going to look like. Can you see? So you must draw the line, the four lines. Make sure you draw it and on the notching path so that you will achieve your aim on this or sleeve thank you for being there guys i placed my material on the table for this or uh, short sleeve the basic sleeve the short sleeve so i folded it by the hammer i'm working with which is 16 inches so i added some inches like 2.5 inches to hit so here i went down four inches so this is my four inches i'm marking so i went down four inches and from this edge i'm going to make a slanted line to reach this four inches can you see so i made um slanted line to reach this four inches and i'm going to connect it so here i'm going to Measure the half of my bicep measurements. So I'm going to mark it and at the lower part, I'm going to measure the sleeve, the sleeve measurements. So I'm going to rule it. I'm ruling the sleeve measurement and I want to add 0.5 for sewing allowance so this is what i'm marking here so i'm cutting on this allowance and not on the main measurement so i'm cutting it okay so I want to measure the half of my round ammo. Don't just place your tape measure this way. Make sure you follow the shape you made. You know, I'm following the shape I made. So I got my 8 inches. Half of my round ammo. So, and I've marked it. So, I told you I had it, um, allowance to this or um, hammer so i marked my sewing allowance so at the lower part which is slim the slim part of it so i'm taking the slim measurements and i will add 
seam allowance to it as well. All right, guys, I'm placing the ruler to mark the allowance first. So this is the allowance. So I'm marking the main measurements right here. So this is the main measurement I want to mark. So I've marked it. So I want to notch this part. So notching is very, very good because it's going to guide you whenever you want to sew. So I'm going to cut and I'm cutting on the line of my allowance and not on my measurement. So this is what I have both front and back. You know, front ammo is different from the our back ammo. So what we're going to do to achieve this is to divide the what you are getting for the half of your round ammo or you look for the quarter of your round ammo and mark the way I mark I marked four inches because I have 16 inches for the round of my ammo. So you know four times four gives me 16 inches. So I marked on on the point of these four inches and I went in 0 0.5. So and I connect it with the shape I had before. So this is the effect of what I've done. And you are going to cut it. So don't do this to the back or hammer, only for the front hammer. Don't shape the back hammer, only for the front. So this is the effect. So can you see? Can you see the effect of shaping? No, I went in 0 0.5. Can you see? This is my 0 0.5 I'm measuring for you to see. So this is what I have. So if you can follow this method, you will achieve whatever you want to achieve. So this is what so I So we have come to the end of today's tutorial. And this is the basic sleeve. These are basic sleeve. So can you see the effect of 0 0.5 I marked? So this effect of 0 0.5 only for the front hammer, not for the back. So this is the flare sleeve. The full flare sleeve I cut. So if you find this tutorial helpful, Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notification bell down there to get to an update whenever I will be uploading my new videos. And I will see you on my next tutorial. I love you.